So the next step in the process, <clears throat> once you got your color print stuck to your plywood, is you're going to take a razor or exacto knife or something like that, some sharp object, and you're just going to trace just inside the black line and I'll just do this a little bit here. Cut that away. You can see it sticks really good. So, like so. <clears throat> Then you're going to take your jigsaw, and you can see where I already started. And you're going to cut within about a quarter inch or however close you want. I wouldn't go too close because, you know, if you d happen to splinter the wood, it'll also lift the color print as well. Oops. <laughs> so some of you might be thinking, well, why not just cut right on the vinyl? Well, if you do that, it tears the vinyl because of the thickness of the vinyl that you use. So you can see how jagged that gets. So that's what you don't want. So follow along the black line with your razor blade. Get it all perimeter cut out. And then start with your jigsaw. A quarter inch or closer, a little bit closer, not much more. Go all the way around. And then you're going to, this little edge here you're going to paint along with the end of the plywood. I'm going to paint that black and probably the back as well and paint all that black and uh, the project will be done. Okay so it took me a few minutes, about five minutes to cut all around and as I was cutting in my dear wife came in for a visit to see what I was up to and uh, she made a very astute observation said that I probably should have just trimmed it all out with scissors first and then stuck it to the uh, plywood. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. She raises a good point. Um, but anyway, either way, you can cut it all out with scissors and go that route, or you can peel and stick the whole thing on and then go back with the razor and cut it that way. I like doing it with the razor because it also gives me the ability to, as I'm pressing with the razor, I'm cutting into the fiber of the top here as well, that top layer of veneer, and that'll just help prevent splintering you know, if it was to happen as I'm going along my jigsaw. So, it's all done. I opted to uh, cut all this out. I left the white here because I'm going to cut this out with the jigsaw and then I'm going to cut these out on the scroll saw as an experiment and just see how they turn out. But uh, this is ready to go and I'm going to get the jigsaw set up now and uh, cut this out. So you'll notice that, for the most part, I don't blow away the sawdust because the sawdust will act as a cushion for the, the plate of the jigsaw, the shoe here of the jigsaw, to float over the color print so that your shoe doesn't scratch the color print. You'd be surprised how many, you know, if you look underneath the bottom of your, of your jigsaw, the plate might have a little scratch, a little nick here or there, just through, you know, wear and tear. So uh, you might want to check that first as a tip. Make sure that the shoe plate of your jigsaw is good and smooth. Hit it with some sandpaper, that should do the job. Or, or take a, a metal, you know, a regular metal file and if it's a big burr and, and, and cut that off. Um, but then yeah, just let the, the sawdust do its thing. And uh, you know, leave enough for you to guide your way as you go. But the rest of it can stay because uh, 
That'll help float the jigsaw over the color print. So here, you could, if you want, cut into each one and make the flare. Totally up to you. Uh, I'm just going to go straight, cut like that. Just for simplicity, that's all. So, all done. Yeah, so all we need to do now is sand that off, get some paint to it, or some, I, I think I got some black deck stain I might use, and uh, this one will be done. <laughs>